Hi everyone, Jordan from Entech here. In a previous video, we introduced you to the concept of voltage drop. In today's video, we're going to show you one solution to overcoming this design constraint, dual power injection. To demonstrate this method of power injection, we'll be reusing our pixelator setup from the last episode. First off, let's clarify what we mean by dual power injection. Now, if there's a dual power injection, there's surely a single power injection, right? Well, there is. Single power injection refers to the default wiring that we've been using in previous LED tape episodes. The LED tape is powered from one end only. With dual power injection, you have a single power supply powering the tape from both ends. In the case of the P-Link injector, we have ground, data and power connections between your P-Link and your pixel strip. As we saw in last episode, the problem with having voltage come from a single point at the tape is that the voltage drops along the length of the tape. It gets worse the longer the wire or the tape is, and it causes issues like colors not displaying properly. If connecting to your tape from one side with one power supply is single power injection, then making connections to both sides with the same power supply is what we describe as dual power injection. In this dual power injection configuration, we have power, data, and ground connected at the start of the strip, just like before. But additionally, to help with voltage drop, we can connect these wires with a lower resistance than the tape to send power from our controller or power supply to the rear of the tape. This helps to boost the voltage here at the end of the tape where it would otherwise have dropped off. By doing this, we keep the voltage throughout the strip high enough so that it doesn't cause any issues like dimness or incorrect color output. It's important to note here that dual power injection, like we've pictured here, only applies to LED pixel strips and modules and not constant voltage strip. This is because pixels have built-in control chips that draw power as required. Whereas with constant voltage strip, the tape will light up according to the power that's sent to it from the driver. Some of our more experienced viewers may have noticed that we are stretching long lengths of wire from our power supply to form our second power injection. Just like an LED tape, and as we demonstrated in the last video, there is voltage drop in these wires too. There is still resistance in the wires that make up the second power injection and they will cause voltage drop. So we need to check our system to make sure that the second power injection is in fact helping. One practical way to do this is to rig up your system, take your multimeter, and we'll probe at the appropriate points on the tape. Here, at the start of the tape, we measure 4.94 volts. And at the end of the tape, without a power injection, 4.88 volts. Now, we'll connect our power injection and measure the voltage. When we probe the end of the tape with our power injection, we measure 4.95 volts. This shows us that the second power injection has raised the voltage at the end of the tape and that we've chosen the correct wire. If you don't have this equipment on hand or you're planning for an upcoming project, don't worry, there are still ways to design and check your system. We'll be going over these methods and calculations in an upcoming video. But for now, that's all for today. Check out our social media pages if you haven't already. Like, share, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Comment if you have any questions or you think there's something that we've missed. And stay tuned for more helpful and tech tips.